If you have a new Digi EX15 and need assistance setting it up, this video will help you through the steps needed to get your Digi connected and ready to use. First, check out our video on how to insert the SIM card and the core modem as well as attach the antennas. Second, plug the EX15 into the included battery pack for power. Note that this is only temporary so that we may find the best location for the device based on its cellular signal. If you can only install the device in one location, use the included AC power supply. Or there is a PoE injector, but if this is desired, we recommend attaching it after your EX15 has been configured. Wait for the LEDs to start flashing and within a minute or two, they should show an indication of the SIM card inserted, a cellular indicator and signal strength bars. Your cellular connection should establish itself when there is enough signal, but you will want to walk around to find where the device is receiving the most signal. Of course, in the case that your modem requires a custom access point name, you will need to configure this in the web administration first. Let's review that next. The EX15 is an IP pass-through mode by default, so you will need to configure your computer's Ethernet adapter to use an IP address of 192.168.210.10 in order to log into it. The subnet mask should be 255.255.255.0. Lastly, make the router or gateway IP 192.168.210.1. Next, connect the computer via Ethernet cable to the port labeled 1 slash PoE. Open a web browser on the computer. In the address bar, type in 192.168.210.1. This may warn you that the website is not trusted. Confirm you understand and proceed to the site. Note that this may look different as it depends on the browser you are using. Once you get past this warning, you should be taken to a login page for the EX15. Enter admin for the username and the password can be obtained from the bottom label of the device. The dashboard page will be the first to load after you log in. If you need to apply a custom APN, start by clicking on the system tab at the top and then select device configuration. Expand the modem section, then APN list, followed by APN. For APN, enter the custom APN provided by your cellular provider. Click apply at the top right. Navigate back to the dashboard page and watch for confirmation of cellular connectivity. By default, the EX15 with Wi-Fi has one access point enabled. The default SSID for the access points is digi-ex15w- and then the device's serial number. The password for the default access point is the unique password as found on the device's label. To change this, go to Network, Wi-Fi, Access Points, and DigiAP. Enter a new SSID and pre-shared key here. Click Apply to save the configuration. Next, we'll ensure the device has the proper system time in case we need to review any data in the logs later. Click System, then Time. For Time Zone, select the location nearest to your current location or wherever the device will be installed. You may also add upstream NTP servers that the device will use to synchronize its time. The default setting is time.devicecloud.com. We're going to leave this as is. Click Apply to save the configuration. If you'd like to use your EX15 in router mode rather than IP pass-through mode, continue with the next steps. From here, click Network, Interfaces, and then LAN. For interface type, change this from IP pass-through to Ethernet. Next, click to expand IPv4. By default, the IP address is 192.168.2.1 with a slash 24 subnet. Change this if desired. For the DHCP section, make sure that this is set to enabled. Click Apply to save the changes. At this point, you will be disconnected from the network. You may set your computer's Ethernet adapter back to obtain an address automatically via DHCP and then reconnect to the network. That's all it takes to get your Digi EX15 up and running. We hope you enjoyed this video and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like it. Thank you for watching.